welcome Libra to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition be your messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and the holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Libra. So I hope you all are doing well. And um, let me go ahead and see about this lighting situation. Okay. I think that I don't know why the light looks different. <laughs> Okay, uh, that looks like it got darker. Hmm, interesting. Anywho, um, let's go ahead and get into your reading, okay? This almost personal reading and see what is the current energy of the person that you're connected to at this time. So let's go ahead and see. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages? In regards to this person who is connected to Libra and love, what does Libra need to know about this person who is coming through in this channel reading? Thank you, Spirit. What is the collective energy of the person that is connected to Libras at this time? What does Libra need to know about their love interest? Thank you. All right, let's see. Oh, happiness. <laughs> you bring me more happiness than I could ever imagine. So they're elated, right? Um, let's see. Is there anything else? <laughs> I'm hearing that uh, childhood song. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Oh, guys, don't. Knock my saying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Two more messages, please, Spirit. And regards to this person coming through. I mean, they're happy and all, but we need to know what else, right? Two more messages. What do we need to know about this person connected to Libra? Okay. So <clears throat> we have ego. I lost myself uh, while trying to save my ego. And also we have love strike. I have been swept off my feet, random, unexpected, and amazing. So both of these cards actually came up in reverse. So um, I really feel that um, this person has released their ego in regards to how they are feeling towards you. I feel that they, you know, you do make them happy. Um, they're not letting you know more than that. Okay, I have a feeling like this person is very recluse. They keep a lot of their emotions to themselves and they wouldn't admit that um, that they were smitten by you. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And it was all because of their ego that got in the way. But now they're ready to soften up, loosen up, if you will, and um, want to get to know you. Uh, that's the feeling I'm getting. So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of this person that is coming through with my lovely Libras at this time? Please clarify happiness. Why is happiness here? What can you tell me about happiness in regards to your person? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, you know, they're really happy, okay, that 
they have healed. That's actually a very positive sign, right? Um, let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify ego? Why is ego here? Wow. So we have passion and reconciliation. So maybe, you know, they're just too stubborn to let you know that they were always passionate about you and they want to reconcile. So you're dealing with someone who probably wouldn't admit that you were always right or was right. Um, you know, Libra, you're a sign of fairness and your person just does not want to comply, right? It's like they're really stubborn, stuck in their ways. You can't tell them nothing. And here they are, you know, with their passion and they want to come back. Okay, but their ego got in the way. But like I said, this card came up in reverse. They've let go of their ego. So I really feel like there's um, a special person that wants to come through. Okay, because they've healed, right? Um, Spirit, can you please tell me more about this love strike? Why is love strike here? You know, maybe for some, this person likes to go bowling. <laughs> Maybe they suck at it, or maybe they're good. I don't know. Um, let's see. Spirit, can you tell me more about Love Strike? Why is Love Strike here for Libra? Okay, we have Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, they don't... Okay, so if this person had a very codependent nature about themselves, um, they just did not allow themselves to get in the trap of love. Okay, um, because maybe they were the clingy type is what I'm getting and they didn't want to go there. So their ego got in a way at some point, but they cannot resist that there is this passion that they have and they want to see you know would you take them back there's someone from your past that's returning back and um i really feel like they've worked on themselves that's actually a really positive thing let's go ahead and see what is the energy here between the two of you spirit can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person connected to you at this time how are they currently thinking of you how are they feeling what do they want and what is the outcome what is the energy of this person so that libra can understand the um the intention that this person um has towards you in this now moment let's see All right, so they're waiting for the right time. Maybe they're waiting for the signs. Um, you know, for some, your person um, lives near the ocean, okay, where they actually have a view of the mountains and water. Um, I know that I myself have this type of view. Um, it's, it's beautiful. Um, now, I really feel like for some, you know this person at work. Like this is a workmate or someone that you work with and they're just waiting for the right time um to communicate but i see that they're holding themselves back again there's like this waiting process i don't know what they're waiting on um again this could be within three days three weeks one day to one week and um i see that um they really come off as someone who is nurturing so this is more of a feminine energy this they they could think that you are like this person who is very nurturing um, and very giving, okay? Someone who is like a mother, uh, could be a father for some. Um, they really see that um, either you or they're grounded. I really feel like this is them. Let's just talk about them, okay? So here they are. They're sitting here and they're thinking, okay, that they can't communicate to you pause because maybe they work a lot okay uh that's one thing i'm seeing you know there's something here about work and like this person has a flower tattoo on their arm that's funny <laughs> it looks like a flower and a bird okay so 
if someone has a flower and a bird tattoo on, on your arm, then hey, this could be about your person or even you. You know, I also see here, um, there's this Vespa that this uh, woman is sitting on. Um, I feel like they have something to offer you. It's something grounded. And um, they've really thought about this. You could be done with a Virgo specific. Could be an earth sign. And um, could be Leo. All right. So, I don't know. They're, they actually think that you do make them happy. You know, it's coming up in your reading two times. And um, they're just holding them their feelings back. Like they don't, they never told you. They never really, um, you know, validated that you do make them happy. Um, but I see that they could be keeping it to themselves. This person is also very spiritual. So um, they don't talk a lot. Okay, I have a feeling like this person does not really communicate often. But here they are. They want to tell you their truth. <clears throat> that they can't give you what you're looking for. Maybe it's because they're already in another commitment, like they're married, or maybe this is you, okay? Um, so I feel like they want to tell you that they can't, they can't, you know, um, offer you X, Y, and Z, maybe because, you know, they're in another situation and they really want to continue to work on, um, I guess this is a job. I don't know. I'm feeling very strongly that, You've met this person through work or, you know, you want to work on, on the relationship with them, but they really feel that they can't because of an external reason, okay? And um, again, they're very passionate. They really want to move things forward. They want to take action from uh, ending some sort of cycle. So, if there's a cycle with a karmic partner, they're at the end of it, okay? They're aware that they need to close out the cycle in order to have a new beginning with you. And they're they're planning on it, okay? So again, there's that waiting period. That was the very first card that actually showed up here. And if you've given them like, you know, like your affection, your love, um, maybe, you know, a cup of coffee for some. Um, I feel like your person had to reject it, okay? Um, they've really thought about it, right? But they're, the third-party situation is still lingering on your person's mind, and that is uh, why they're not accepting your offer. And um, that doesn't mean that they're not interested, okay? It's just... Um, they, they're really slow, okay? And um, yeah, I feel like they're healing. They're really healing themselves. Again, for some, you're dealing with another air sign, could be Aquarius. And they need to come to a conclusion of their own that you mean well, okay? This is your card. This is justice. You come in very balanced, like um, they know that you wouldn't do them wrong. Um, they just need to come to terms with whatever their thoughts and feelings are in regards to you or whatever their personal situationship is, but they want to come back. So again, there is a reconciliation with a past love that is wanting to come back. This person is very passionate towards you. You know, they've learned a lot since the last time that you guys have last spoken with one another is what I'm getting. And they really feel like they can't, you know, move forward in the way that they have been. And they want to communicate that they want to come back. So again, reconciliation is in here two times. So this is very weird, right? Like I just finished the Gemini reading. They had very similar energies, but different cards. And I'm seeing it for you. So the air signs, there's definitely a past person that is coming back, okay, towards you or they're thinking of it, okay, at least very quickly, could be eight days, could be two months, two to three months for some. Okay, and but they're stressed, so that's why it's like this, uh, you know, um, hot and cold energy, and um, they just don't know if they can do this or not. So maybe they're second guessing themselves. Um, it's because there's so much that's going on, and if they're living and separately from you, I really feel that things are not going well in their home life. Okay. 
I feel that um, maybe they're getting out of a relationship and they have to move and there's a lot of expenses or, you know, if they're still living with a karmic partner, you know, they're not happy in their house and it's, it's a lot, okay, a lot that's uh, weighing on your person's shoulders here. And I see that again with the nine of cups, like they're just not happy. They're really disappointed with how things are. It's about this divorce. So definitely, clearly someone here is getting a divorce or getting a relationship um, or a commitment of some sort. And they really find that you're very creative, very passionate, maybe beautiful or handsome. Um, maybe this person is an artist for some. And they keep thinking about the past. Okay. They're trying to get over whatever this third party situation is. And they really uh, were focused on family. Okay. So maybe they held back, you know, for the sake of the family. Um, maybe it was because of, you know, the money. Uh, whatever the case is, now they're guarded and super defensive and they're wanting to, to move away from that. So there's a change of heart from what I can feel in regards to this particular person. And uh, I'm also getting that they're just not clear. Um, and they finally made a decision that they just need to pull back. So, you know, for you, Libra, okay, I, I'm seeing it very clearly. There's a person who's totally interested in you, but they're not they're not admitting to it. Um, are they coming? I don't know. They're taking their sweet time. But I really feel like you've made an approach to this particular person and they're unyielding. Okay, but I really feel like if there's someone or something of their past that's preventing them to open up towards you. But just know that every time that you offer, you know, your sincerity or your love or affection, it's received well. They're just not showing you that they appreciate everything that you do. Okay. Um, yeah, this person is slow to warm up. <laughs> just say. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I really feel like, you know, they have been watching you or making some sort of thoughts. They just don't feel good about, you know, opening up towards you in that way. They're very reserved, especially if they're a water sign, like really closed off emotionally. They, they really don't feel like they can give you what you're looking for. That's why they are the way that they are right now. It, it wouldn't be fair to you also. So let's see what else. I really feel like your person's going through something. Now, look, they're thinking that they want to come, but then they hold themselves back, okay, um, because there's karma, okay? Your person knows, okay, that there is some kind of attraction here, but because they have unfinished karma and another situation, they need to rectify that before they can open up towards you. How are they feeling? They really feel like they need to end a relationship, because it wouldn't go anywhere, okay? Who are they kidding? You know, are they going to try and make you happy and the other person happy? And they're, they're just kind of neutral over here? That's not real happiness. Now, in the very beginning, the very first card they came out was happiness. You actually make them happy because, you know, as they're going through a personal shit, right? You know, they have learned to heal and forgive like themselves and other people in the process. Now, they don't want to make the same mistake. That's why they're not engaged with you at this time. Okay. So just know that. And how to, uh, what's the intent? They really want to reconcile with you. I'm seeing it here with a judgment card. Okay. Maybe they're being too harsh on themselves because of their past. And that's what's blocking their heart. So, um, it's not because of you. It's because of a past situation that they haven't resolved yet. Okay. So they need time. And I know for some of my Libras, you're like, well, how much time do they need? Because it's been a while. Well, it's going to be different for everyone, right? This is an almost personal reading, right? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so 
Uh, in the outcome, I see here eight of swords in reverse with the two of cups and strength in reverse. Um, they just don't have the confidence to open up with a relationship, but they're trying to get out of their head. So there's something about your person who feels stuck. They, you know, this is a personal issue. It has nothing to do with you. You know, they want to explore a relationship. They want to engage in having some kind of partnership, but they just don't have the balls to do it. Okay. Like they don't have the courage. They need time. And what's my favorite P word? Patience. It's going to require patience if you're into this particular person. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. You know, that's why I really feel like this codependency you know, I'm not really getting like drug addiction or anything like that. I really feel like they were very codependent on a particular type of relationship and they don't want to do it. And so um, because of their uh, experience, personal experience with relationships, okay, they're just not going there at all. So I feel like they're just being extra cautious right now. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So let's see what what else does your person want to say? Because I feel like your person isn't really talking to you or they're just not letting you know how they're feeling. Well, look at this. We have open the relationship. So they want to open up and they can't handle you down. Okay, please tease me. They like it when you play with them. And I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing, but yeah. Um, yeah, they want, I don't, you know, open the relationship. I don't feel like it's an open relationship. They just want to be more open. Like they, they can't open themselves up enough. They're very closed off. They just can't handle you. Maybe you're just too much for them. I know, right? Um, they're asking you to please them, but they can't handle it. Yeah. So you got to be either gentle or, you know, try to get them to know them a little bit more. Um, so that they can trust you. That, that's that's what I'm feeling here. This all has something to do about trust. They just don't have the confidence. They don't know if they can trust you or trust whatever this whole situation is. I feel like it's because they've been burned one too many times. You know, um, the other thing is, is that for some, they're actually getting out of a relationship and they need to work on that. And it wouldn't be fair to you if they were to open up to you at this time. You know, because they're just not in the right mindset. But that's what I have. So let's see. What is the guidance message that Spirit wants you to know? So Spirit, what is the guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or the cross watcher who is watching? And if this has resonated with you, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. So let's see. Guidance message for Libra. Look at this. Surrender to joy. Um, it says, a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both and um, the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Now, I really feel like, you know, this, this is for both of you guys, you know. You make them happy. You know, they really like your upbeat nature, your joyfulness, your happiness, your happy, because that vibe is contagious and they really need that. Okay. I would say, you know, just, just be happy, go with the flow, try not to make everything too hard or rigid, you know, help your person loosen up by sending them more joy. That, that's what I have. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And again, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, all of my readings are on sale. And so until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.